Blended learning enhances mastery-based learning. Why is that? Well, data practices and blended learning can capture data that can tell us about students' mastery of the learning material. As a result, a pathway to mastery-based learning is opened. A mastery-based learning focuses on student performance in a subject to define its student's progress through the curriculum rather than seat time. Now, good data practices used in blended learning reveal where a student is struggling so that teachers can target interventions to help overcome these challenges. This helps to personalize instruction and makes mastery-based progression better for achieving student learning outcomes. Now, for instance, in a blended learning environment, you can group students based on mastery level, like these teachers at West Belden Elementary. So, um, data definitely is a tool that we use to drive instruction. Um, we take an NWEA test three times a year, and so that's one way that we'll group our students. And um, on a day-to-day -day level, we use Lexia, ST Math, um, and NWEA has a program where we can have our, our students take a, a skills locator, which will break down individually where they're struggling and then we'll kind of group our students that way and um, provide small group instruction. And then the cool thing about that is that site provides mastery checks so we can see who's gaining the knowledge that they need and then kind of readjusting our groups that way as well. In addition to that, we use a lot of formative assessments to also group students based on skill and ability. Um, just within a particular lesson, a formative assessment will be given. Like an exit ticket. A summative assessment will be given. And then as a team, through four and five, we kind of align the students based on the skills that they need um, rather than based on grade level. Um, we usually meet pretty much every day. We are always collaborating with each other, with the other first grade teacher as well. Um, we have time throughout the day, um, right in the middle of our day, to have to collaborate and just kind of talk about their strengths, their weaknesses, and to look at more data based on the specific skill we're focusing on. And then we usually spend like three to three weeks maybe in that strand, and then we'll meet again to kind of rearrange the groups and see where we can, you know, if students need to be pushed up a little and then they meet, you know, so we have that opportunity to meet and just make those changes. Students can be placed in strategic small groups or rotations based on mastery levels. Students can be put in a homogeneous group where all students are at the same mastery level. And this can be an intervention group or an enrichment group. However, in heterogeneous groups, students are at different levels of mastery and can help each other. Students who have achieved mastery in the concept can deepen their understanding of that concept by teaching their peers. Meanwhile, students near mastery can be guided to mastery by peer tutoring. Now, if you're using station rotations, a mixed group approach is also common. In mixed groups, the classroom has both homogeneous and heterogeneous mastery groups at work on different activities. However, mastery-based learning requires teachers to effectively manage the data of the students progressing at different paces. A key data tool for mastery-based learning are mastery gradebooks or trackers such as Mastery Connect, Canvas, Google Spreadsheet, or PowerSchool. Now, their red, yellow, and green tracking markers can help determine how we bring students to mastery. Let's look at this mastery tracker using the AAA Ask, Answer, Act method. We can ask, who needs remediation around which student learning outcomes? When we analyze the data, our answer is that six students need remediation around 6.5. Victor needs remediation for 6.1 to 6.4, and Cyrus needs remediation for 6.1. But finally, we can act by doing a one-on-one -on -one intervention with Victor by pulling in Cyrus for 6.1 and then create a small group instruction for the six students needing remediation for 6.5. Good data practices and blended learning also provide a gateway for teachers to communicate with students about setting their own goals and tracking their progress. Let's see how one classroom at Joseph Lovett Elementary School involves students in goal setting.
the tracker sheets were important um, for teachers and student use because it helps the students, first of all, to really focus in and keep that focus on what they're supposed to be working on um, at any given day, at any given moment. Um, on the tracker sheet, the students are able to set goals for themselves. Um, and they know that for each day they have certain goals that they have set and that if they're not working on those goals that's on the tracker sheet, then they are, you know, off task and they have to respond daily. Yes, they met their goals. No, they did not. And they have to explain to the teacher um, why they met those goals or, or why they did not meet those goals. And usually we do that during conferencing time. But if I'm not working with a small group, you know, at that moment, I can go around and kind of observe what's going on, take a glance and look at the tracker sheets and see who's actually filling them out with fidelity and kind of giving some reminders. Oh, looks like you didn't meet your goal yesterday. You might want to work hard on yesterday's goal and then you've got to double up for today or, or change your goals a little bit. Um, we collect the tracker sheets. So the teachers, we look through them to see, are they being filled out properly with fidelity? Are the students um, paying attention to what they're supposed to be working on? And I save mine. So when I do formal conferencing with students biweekly, um, I will pull those out and say, hey, this, these are your tracker sheets for the last two weeks. Let's talk about it. Or is there anything you would like to you know, show me on this tracker? How do you feel like you did? Or are there some areas where you might want to work on?